Not Olivia Rodrigo defending Sabrina Carpenter all of a sudden after her driver's license money started running out. Now I look back and laugh. I am in no way trying to go against anyone in today's video, but something is really not adding up in this story at all all. Like, am I the only delusional one here, or do you guys also think the whole drama between Olivia, Sabrina, and Joshua doesn't make sense at all? If we go back months ago when Olivia dropped driver's license, the real reason why she actually made the song, you guys, was to express her feelings towards her ex-boyfriend Joshua Bassett being in a relationship with Sabrina Carpenter. And I know what you're probably thinking. Why Sabrina got involved in the drama? Well, as much as Olivia didn't intentionally throw shade at Sabrina in driver's license, she still mentioned her by calling her her the blonde girl, which made many Olivia fans throw hate at Sabrina. <laughs> In fact, both Sabrina and Joshua revealed that they have received hate comments and death threats for months after Olivia dropped driver's license. And unfortunately, this situation ended up with Joshua getting hospitalized for suffering from septic shock and heart failure. I know, it's insane. Although this situation has already been over almost seven months ago, as much as you would expect, Joshua, Sabrina, and specifically Olivia to move on from the situation already? Uh, sadly, my girl Olivia keeps adding more fuel to the fire by bringing up the drama again. Because about a week ago, Olivia decided to reflect on her drama with Sabrina Carpenter in an interview. And y'all just take a look at what she had to say. I don't really subscribe to hating other women because of boys. I think that's so stupid. And I really resent that narrative that was being tossed around. <laughs> Who told Olivia it was a good idea to say this? I mean, if you really think about it, where was Olivia when Sabrina was receiving death threats and hate comments after she dropped driver's license? I know, right? And the fact that it took Olivia seven months for her to say how she doesn't subscribe to hating women because of boys when she already helped to cause both Sabrina and Joshua get harassed by her fans without stopping them? It's giving hypocrisy, to be honest. But anyways, y'all, here's how the internet reacted to Olivia defending Sabrina all of a sudden. Sabrina went through hell and back, and she's speaking up now after the song has been milked to full capacity. Okay then, where was this energy when her fans were harassing Sabrina, lol. Okay, I don't have anything against her, but then why didn't she speak about this since this started? People literally harass Sabrina and they still do. Sabrina was torn apart by the internet because of Olivia's fans for months. She still is. And now she wants to say something? No, it feels so insincere. If you thought this situation couldn't get any more awkward and embarrassing, well, you probably haven't seen the part where Olivia got asked in an interview about her opinion towards her ex-boyfriend Joshua Bassett being queer. And y'all, take a look at how Olivia responded. I know nothing about it, and it's not my business to speak on it. I'm not sure what the interviewer expected Olivia to say, but the fact that they're still forcing drama between Olivia and Joshua and asking her about his sexuality is literally unnecessary. But anyways, I would love to hear your opinions down below about this messy drama. Now let's move on to Billie Eilish siding with Justin Bieber against Taylor Swift. Y'all are gonna drag me for talking about this situation on my channel, and trust me, it isn't anything serious or clickbait. But girl, we need to talk about how Billie Eilish used to defend Justin Bieber against Taylor Swift. If you guys didn't know already, both Justin Bieber and Taylor Swift are known for having one of the biggest drama together on this planet. In fact, they have been beefing with each other for almost 10 years now, and I'm not gonna be explaining the reason behind their drama because it's a lot to take in. But both Taylor Swift and Justin Bieber have tons of shady moments in pop culture history where they seem to be shading each other, such as this video of Taylor Swift sticking out her tongue at Justin kissing her best friend Selena Gomez. And if y'all thought Taylor was the shady one, you probably haven't seen the part where Justin also went in on Taylor after he posted a screenshot of him FaceTiming Taylor Swift's enemies, Kanye West and Scooter Braun with a caption saying this. Taylor Swift, what up? These two people have been so shady towards each other and it's a bizarre to me how they have been feuding for years by now. Because just recently, people found an old comment Billie Eilish made under one of Justin Bieber versus Taylor Swift YouTube videos. And y'all, here's what Billy actually commented. I'm definitely Team Justin. I know this sounds unbelievable, but the fact that Billy made this comment seven years ago when she was probably 12 years old is not sitting right with me at all. Because as some of y'all know, Billy has been a huge fan of Justin Bieber since she was a child. And the way her fans caught her defending Justin during the drama left many people 
people in shock. Just take a look at people's reactions. I mean, we all had a Justin Bieber phase. Taylor and Billy are in a good term now, so IDC. The funniest part is that she was like 12. She was 11, give her a break. I mean, she had a whole wall dedicated for him. Anyways, y'all, let's end today's video with my queen, Lizzo, who recently was trending on social media after she cried on live over hate and fat phobic comments. I just don't understand how there are millions of people out there who are still body shaming girls to this day, including my girl Lizzo. But I feel like ever since Lizzo openly talked about the hate comments don't really affect her anymore, people started sending more hate towards Lizzo as if she became emotionless all of a sudden. And of course, I'm not only talking about the hate comments in general, I'm talking about fat phobic comments and people being absolutely racist towards her. I can't believe how Lizzo actually handles social media to be honest, because whenever I open the comments under her posts, all I see is people constantly trying to put her down when she's only having fun with her body and spreading positivity. For example, here are some comments under her Instagram post. Man, now I gotta unfollow before my girl tweet. Blocks, y'all getting a little too comfortable on social media now. What is wrong with you females? What the heck? Now, despite how Lizzo receives hate on the regular, the situation that happened this week made Lizzo break down while being online. Because as some of y'all might have seen recently, Lizzo surprised everyone with a new song with Cardi B called Rumors after taking a long break from music. And of course, y'all can already imagine the amount of hate Lizzo received because of both her song and body, which ended up making Lizzo cry on live this week while addressing the racism and fat phobia in the music industry. I have people who have something, something mean to say about you. And for the most part, it doesn't hurt my feelings. I don't care. I just think when uh, I'm working this hard, my, my tolerance gets lower. My patience is lower. I'm more sensitive. And it gets to me. It's upsetting how people come after the most peaceful celebs out there and leave the problematic ones behind. A shame. After Lizzo had a breakdown on live, she immediately started trending on Twitter as hundreds of celebs, including Cardi B, Niall Horan, and Bella Porch were sending love towards Lizzo. And y'all, here's what the media had to say about the whole situation. Sad to see society and the internet come together to try and take down people, especially such positive leaders and role models. This is the part that jades me about the world. We'll never appreciate greatness until it's gone. When you stand up for yourself, they claim you're problematic and sensitive. When you don't, they tear you apart until you're crying like this. Whether you're skinny, big, plastic, they're going to always try to put their insecurities on you. Remember, these nerds are looking at the popular table. Y'all project hate onto the wrong people. Anyways, loves, what's your opinion on Lizzo breaking down during live over fatphobic comments? Make sure to leave all your thoughts and opinions on today's drama recap video down in the comments below. I love you so much.